So valid.arrays, remember the arrays, wheel arrays and element. And this is the beginning plus the ice element. Okay, so it needs an uh, iterator, so we just give uh, give it. Iterator is basically just a memory address, something like that. Okay, so basically, whenever it is outside of the screen, we delete it. Okay, so now I think I forget to implement the get rect. So, yep, okay, never mind. So I just implement it quickly as the rect address uh, get rect. And this will just return the address of box. Bullet colon colon get rect and uh, return the address of box. That's it. Now we can compile it. So get back here but because I write too much O's in here. Code with three O. So It is not shooting. I have the problem. This is not why, this is this. I don't know why I wrote why. Okay, I think now it will shoot. Okay, it it mostly work. So, but if we, I start the game and I show you in here, if I shoot, it goes through everything solid, like these blocks, and it shouldn't be go through these blocks. So, uh, we do a check for collision. Okay, actually we have to copy almost the whole collision detection flow from the player the CPP, as you may remember here be used and we have to copy this entire collision detection until this collision row because uh, in case of bullets we don't care uh, we, uh, what direction does the collision occurred we just care that uh, so we just care that is there a collision or not and uh, this if statement will be true if there was a collision okay probably it's not the best uh, best to copy this uh, entire code because usually if there is so much copy that is repeated uh, in uh, uh, several files that could mean that there is something problem with the planning because probably a function or inheritance or something uh, could uh, replace that uh, repeated code uh, but don't worry about that this is not so much code so I just simple copy it and uh, paste it into the game.cpp file and uh, where should I paste it? I paste it before uh, the... so here where I checked uh, after that is it out of the screen I paste it before it okay uh, just uh, make it alright that's it one more thing the start is reserved already in here because the start is a uint32 which will actually be the time uh, of our current frame so we can't uh, name it start but we can name it I don't know str and change here to str and we are okay alright uh, if there was a collision, we do the same thing then here, we delete it and then we delete it from the vector as well. 
So first we re delete from the memory and then the address then we delete the address from the vector. And basically that's all we have to do in here. Uh, and now in theory if I start the program and compile it okay we have a little bit of problem first of all this box should be the box of the uh, so the box of the you know ballot so we need one more for loop here so for int g equals zero g less than ballot dot size g plus plus and uh, just put this if statement into this for loop and use the ballot i and we get the rect from there because you remember we make a get rect function which will return the address of the re uh, box of the of the ballot and we don't need the address of operator because it's already returned with the address and we have to do one more thing because as you can see there is no collision uh, declared in the scope that's because we don't inherit from the base class so let's do it just inherit from the base class and we inherit that collision function we wrote in the base class so be, uh, public base class oh public and we inherit from the base class like that okay now we can compile it after I saved it <laughs> okay compile and run and in hurry after it reaches uh, box in here it should uh, get a segmentation error okay uh, yeah that's not what the plan the problem is that I always call my uh, loop variables i or j so I not really call them g so that's why I have to write those because as we will get a segmentation failure now we can compile it and run it or segmentation error I don't know which one it's called so it seems to work for me so whenever the bullet goes out from the screen like this or goes to an object a solid object it, it disappears the address which is reserved is deleted and it is deleted from the vector as well so so it's not work now there is problem okay I don't know why it's not shoot at the moment okay I think there is some problem with the relative and absolute coordinate because if I go here it start to stop shooting in here huh interesting okay so So whenever we shoot in here, so whenever I press F, okay, now a little debugging. Okay, we press the image, we get the X from the player. Yep, I already know what the problem is. In here we check the uh, so we use the check as an absolute coordinate so not matter how far are we we check that uh, is the bullet in there although I give in here uh, when we shoot as a relative coordinate to uh, so it is relative to the player uh, and the screen obviously because the player is relative to the screen so basically I do here that get the uh, x coordinate for example, in this case, I would get, uh, if I go a little, so, for example, in here, I would get 80, because now the player is at 80 coordinate. And, uh, 
and I use absolute coordinate in here so we have to not check uh, okay uh, I don't know how clear is it maybe if you draw it as usually so we just change this to not baseless chord x but the screen dot x so screen x so we get the x coordinate of the screen and we get the width of the screen actually why would we need the x coordinate we don't need the x coordinate okay so we get the screen x x screen x coordinate a uh, width so if it is greater than the width and uh, less than zero then we delete it okay i think it should work now okay it should 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 okay it seems to work f uh, now so that was the problem the conversation from the absolute and the relative coordinate okay it shoots everywhere I can write thin waves okay I think the shoot is uh, pretty much ready there is collision detection uh, for the uh, uh, bullets and uh, basically everything so the shoot was uh, quite easy as I said I think now uh, cover the next a simple topic the simple animation so uh, if you saw the final result of my tutorial uh, so the zero part then you saw that there are some simple animation so basically just this image animated so if I go to the left actually this is the right then I get this image and this image and first I get this and then this 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 so yeah and if I go to the other direction then I get this and this so yeah basically that's it okay so I go to the player.cpp because we will make the changes in here mostly so first of all I need to create a new variable which will be a char and this will uh, be uh, the direction so this will be R or L so right or left uh, right probably later you can put other things in here which for example represent the jump when you jump in left or jump in right and put the images according to that okay in the, constru in the constructor I just initialize this direction so make direction equal to right at the beginning okay and uh, the next change will be in the show function oh I just realized we need one more variable actually two more variables one is a double frame although you may wondering why is the frame is not an integer uh, the answer is that there are just two image which uh, get uh, so first get the first image and then the second and if you do with an integer then it will be quite quick because we have 30 fps so it will be 15 times uh, change the image and you know that unacceptable because we cannot even see it too quick for us so yeah okay we use the uh, the double and we add 0 0.1 to this frame and whenever we uh, actually render the frame we round this double to an int actually cast it to an int and uh, and this will be a whole number then so for example this will allow us to, to put one picture to 10 millisecond or longer one tenth of a second okay and we need a boolean value a variable called I call it moving okay probably it will not make sense why we make moving uh, I will tell in a moment in an example so yeah okay 
for now we will not use the moving I just uh, create it for later use